Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome back to Minecraft. Uh, my name is Alza, and today we're going to be starting a series that's a little bit different. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create the world before uh, before I tell you guys what's actually going on. Um, so we're going to call this Chain Gang. It's very important that I spell gang properly. Uh, survival mode. Uh, we're going to change a couple of things here in the world gen. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to punch in our seed, which is Zalze is the best, because it's true. Uh, cheats off, bonus just off, uh, structure's on, of course. And uh, we're going to do one thing here. We're going to go into our customized world type for 1.8 here. And we're going to take our biomes down to 2. So that'll be either half or a quarter the size of normal biomes. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do that. Everything looks good. So we're going to go ahead and generate this world, and then I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get ready here. And now we are here in our world, which I have not seen before. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, take a look. Ooh, jungle, good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and collect some basic resources here uh, while I tell you what's up. So uh, this is a brand new Minecraft series featuring not only myself, but uh, several other people as well, who you probably just saw in the intro, so you've puzzled that out. Um, but what we are going to be doing in this series is we're going to be working together, kind of, uh, to kill the Minecraft Ender Dragon, the final boss of the game, unless, I guess, you count Withers and Harold Ryan, in which case it's not the final boss. Um, but what we're going to be doing in this series is, it's kind of like if you're familiar with uh, Chain Worlds or Pass the Parcel or that sort of thing, it's the same general principle. We're going to be passing a single-player world around to each other, um, recording videos and uploading them, and working together to make progress towards this final goal. Um, the final goal that we have decided on uh, is that we are going to... Uh, I'm just making sure I had game noise started in here. Uh, we are going to work together to get all of us outfitted well enough that we can go and fight the dragon, and then we are going to all get together at the end and go and fight it. So at that point, we'll throw it on a server somewhere, and it will be co-op, and we will work together to kill the dragon. Um, so yeah, there's very few rules to start out with here, though, but there's one very important thing. Um, for starters, the rule is that everyone gets about 20 minutes, which is a uh, day-night cycle, basically, to, uh, to do whatever they want. I'm just kind of taking a look around the world here. Um, but they get 20 minutes to do whatever it is that they want to do in this world, and we're right on top of a ravine. Nice. Um, but yeah, we get so a full day-night cycle or thereabouts, and then they have to get themselves, you know, to relative safety, you know, sometimes it's may just be literally digging yourself a hole in the wall and uh and hiding in it for the next person to have. Uh but yeah, and then once you've gotten yourself to safety, you pass it off to the next person. Um the other thing that we're doing here is that um everyone gets the ability to add, at the end of their episode, um they get the ability to add a brand new rule to the playthrough, which then everybody else has to follow. Um, whoops, that's that's not how you do that. <laughs> um, so, for example, if you wanted the rule to be, um, you know, that you couldn't, I don't know, eat animals or something, then everyone would have to follow that rule. Um, so the rule is that you get to add, change, or remove one rule at the end of your episode. Um, and that's provided that you survive your full 20 minutes or so, which I should have started my timer. I've just started it. Um, if you die during your 20 minutes, then you don't get to add a rule. Uh, you still pass it on, so any changes that you made to get passed on, anything that you've got for us gets passed on, but uh, you don't you don't get to add any rule, and we all get to laugh at you because you died. Ha 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 ha. Hello, chicken. Are you, you're really here. Sweet. Um... So yeah, those are those are all the rules to start. We haven't started with any custom rules, though I do know which one I'm going to add at the end, provided that I survive, which I should. Um, so yeah, my goal here as the person who's starting is to get us set up with some basic tools um, and then kind of uh, 
you know, just start to start to get us outfitted, start to get us equipped to see what I can do in that regard. So I'm making stone tools here, as you can see, which is super exciting. Um, I don't have, you know, if th the end goal is, of course, to go to the end and kill the dragon. And so we're going to need to do a lot of enderman killing and a lot of, uh, a lot of work to find the end portal, of course, because we have to hunt that down once we've got Eyes of Ender. We're going to have to go to the Nether. So it's not uh, it's not necessarily going to be an easy task that we've got ahead of us. But I'm confident and I believe in us. Um, so yeah, anyway, like I said, as, as I'm the first episode here, I'm just going to try and get a basic framework for everybody set up. Uh, maybe get a base start to set up. Um, because we are going to have to have a lot of stuff um, packed away and set aside because if all four of us are going to be on at the same time, we're going to need like f four. Okay, this sand is not safe, so I'm just going to knock it down right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. You and I both know you're not safe. There you go. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're going to need four relatively good sets of armor and four relatively good bows and weapons and all that sort of thing. Um, so we're just we're gonna need kind of a base uh, set up. But as we've spawned right on top of a ravine here, I'm thinking I'm gonna go caving. Um, the jungle over there may help us out if there's melons in it. Um, also, one thing I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna get the sheep because if we can get wool, then we'll have a bed and we can set our spawn and it'll be a little bit more convenient for us, especially if somebody dies at night, they'll, uh, they'll be respawning in a base instead of at the spawn point, which is near roof four. So I've got three wool now, so that's good. Um, so I'm gonna get this chicken that I knocked down um, and I'm gonna get some more, whoops, what's this? Ooh, more fun stuff. I'm gonna get some more stone here so that I have building blocks and a furnace and some other stuff for stone tools. Um, and then I'm gonna assess where I'm at. So yeah, I started the timer a little bit late, but as I'm the first, like I figure once once it's sun up or so, then I'll just call that my 20 minutes. But in the future, uh, make sure that you set your timers, kids. Uh, we are on uh, hard difficulty. I locked that right before I. Uh, I restarted the recording, so that's the only thing that I locked down. Um, but yeah, so it is it is hard difficulty. So I think we can like get poisoned to death and starve to death and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, Winter put up a fight saying that my version was too easy, so I changed it to hard just to please her. You're welcome, Winter. Um, but yeah, as you know, I wanted to get um, a few different people in on this. Ooh, okay. Good. Uh, I wanted to get a few different people in on this just so we'd have different play styles going on uh, and stuff like that because I thought that would make it more fun. Um, you know, get some different play styles in here, different people that we can pass it around to. Um, but yeah, we don't have like a schedule for really uploading the videos or anything yet. We haven't decided that. It's just we're gonna we're gonna do them as we do them. And yeah, so I would you know if you follow any of the people involved on social media, we'll probably like let you know, I don't know, whenever other people's videos come out, at least I will. So follow me on the Twitters, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to get this coal, and then I'm going to go back and grab that iron, and then we will be good. So if I can get ironed up uh, by the time I'm done, that would be super swell. I've got a couple minutes before sundown yet, and we are unfortunately right near that, uh, that little bit of roofed forest. Um, I did, again, like you saw, I made the biomes a little bit smaller just so that any resources that we need would be fairly easy to get without trekking millions of blocks. Um, but, you know, I did, you know, I put in the seed. The only thing that I did with the seed beforehand is I just checked to make sure we weren't on an island in the middle of the ocean. I didn't punch it into a mist or anything. I don't even think you can with the customized world options with the smaller biomes. Um, so we don't know where the strongholds are. We don't know where there's useful resources. We don't. Like we don't, there, there's been no prior vetting or looking at this seed at all. So how can I get down into here without burning in that lava? Preferably, though, I suppose that's not strictly speaking necessity. I've got seven mutton and nine chicken. That'll do for now. But uh, oh, more chickens. 
All right, let's uh, let's get some more chickens. That will uh, make me feel better. Uh, there are mushrooms here, so we've got mushroom stew as a backup food. I just don't really want to rely on it because mushroom farming would kind of suck. So I'm not going to do that, but that is there as a backup food. There's plenty of mushroom up here that we can uh, break and make ourselves some stew. I don't think wood will exactly be a resource for scare zombie. Yeah, see, there's a zombie and... Uh, Okay, um, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be really safe about this. Just health regen is on, it's not ultra hardcore mode or anything, so yeah, actually we can probably um make this area a bit of a base. I'm thinking I'm gonna block off this lava but not kill it. Um but yeah, if we can if I can grab this area and make it safe-ish. Or some area down here, and I'm already on three haunches. Swell, yeah. This is this is spoopy cave. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and plunk down some gear here. Let's see. This is a somewhat safe-ish area. Um, let's plunk you down. Uh, make ourselves a furnace or two. Start cooking some food. Make some. Un I don't know how good. Mutton is as a food source, but it was readily available from the sheep, which is a nice addition to 1.8. I feel it's just it's more realistic, and sheep will actually become useful when you know UHC transitions over to 1.8. Um, sheep will have a game relevant purpose, which will be nice. Um, so I'll go ahead and make myself another furnace here and start getting some iron. Boop, boop. Uh, all right, so got some food now. Let's see how many haunches this heals. Eh, not bad. Eh, it could be better. Um, so I think, yeah, what I'm going to do now is start to uh, to make this area safe. So if we block this off and use the tree that's already there, then that keeps us safe on this end. And uh, let's see. This is not safe, but it leads to the ravine, so I kind of still need access to it, so I don't want to block it off. But we're just going to have to be very careful with this area, I think. But if we can make this into a nice little house, then uh, I think that would be good. So it's sundown now, so my episode is already like half done. Ooh, that's, that's, not, that's not safe, but our home has two levels. How nice. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and make this a little bit safer. That's alright with everyone. So does this, this does break out to the surface there, but I'm going to take some of this andesite or whatever the ites are. Which one is this? Granite. <laughs> Granite. Um, yeah, I don't... This is the one addition that I don't really get in 1.8, just because it doesn't feel useful or relevant at all, and I'm not really sure what the point of it is. So I'm just going to block this area off. Boop. All right. So there's that. Um, and we've got, you know, maybe this upstairs area can be used as storage or something to the effect. Um, so I've got 13 iron already, which is great. Let's see. Let's go ahead and cook the chicken up. Um, and then just plunk some more torches down, make sure everything is nice and safe. I'm going to grab more of the granite here. Is this really granite? Then what's the gray? What's what's the gray? Right, is that diorite or something? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to grab more of this. I'm going to try to make like a roof down here so that we can uh, we can get to the ravine safely and with minimal fuss, and it'll also help it to stick out. Oh, bed, that's right, I should, um, I should perhaps craft that and place it down. I'm just doing some decorating at the moment. Hopefully, uh, nothing will sneak up on me and kill me, because that would suck. Come on, there you go. Boop, boop. Mm, how much? I've got seven left. All right. Some more. Yep. Alright. Uh, maybe, yeah, okay, I can just grab this here. 
But now that it's night, I can go ahead and sleep in the bed. So that's something that I should do once I'm done with the roof here. Two, three, four, five. And then there's a two block hole there, um, which I will block up right here. Uh, one, two. Okay, and that can be uh, refined and made less ugly in future episodes, I'm sure, but uh, just trying to keep things somewhat safe. Um, but yeah, this ravine, I think, will be really good in terms of getting us some resources, because it looks like it goes down a fair bit. Yeah, see, what's this white block right here? What's, which one is diorite? Okay. Um, anyway, my curiosity has been satisfied. Uh, so, all right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and come back here. Oop, hello, 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 hello. No, no, this off. No, no. All right, so obviously that area was not lit up as well as I thought it was. Where did you come from? Is it just that because we're on hard mode, like, things spawn easier? Because this, th I mean, this looks pretty well lit up, right? Plunk another torch down there, and then I'll break this staircase. So nothing can kill us. Ugh, well, that could have turned out disastrously, but it didn't. All right, so, got some food, got some iron, gonna make a bed. Two, three. One, two, three. All right, so let's go ahead. And I'm gonna make a little safe room. Whoops, I'm gonna make another pick. My game sounds are kind of low, sorry about that. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and make another pick. And then I'm just gonna make a little safe room over here where I can put the bed and hopefully avoid having things spawn in our face because that would suck. And uh, eventually we might be able to do something like stick a door on it just so that uh, things can't come get us if we don't want it to. But that can be a job for any of the other three because I won't get this file back until everyone else has played at least once. Um, so yeah, little Far Lands of Bust Hidey Hole here. We'll make the ceiling one taller just so we don't uh, take suffocation damage when we respawn. Because that also would not be a fun thing. So, little safe room here. Boop. Uh, plunk down a couple of torches. Mm -hmm. And sleep here. Boom. Beautiful. Alright. Um, so that will provide some degree of security. Um, and actually, I will go ahead and... Uh, and block it up with dirt because we can uh, we can break dirt with our hands if we need to. I'll go ahead and pop a sign as well. One of the things we discussed was making a rules board once there's a bunch of rules with just uh, all the rules that have been added. So that's something that we can uh, that we can add once we've got some resources and some supplies going. So I think I'm just going to use. I don't have a whole lot of time left. I don't think. But I'm just going to use what time I have left to kind of get some resources, go and get this coal. Um, I've got cooked food, but some more would be nice. Uh, but yeah, just go ahead and start to uh, start to make this into a bit of a home, I guess. And then whoever's next can have the fun, exciting adventure of the terrifying ravine of terror. Um, torch trick this gravel. Ha! That's uh, those are the pro tier strats right there, kids. Make sure you're uh, you're taking notes because I am, I am the best at Minecraft. It is, it is true. You may think that it is someone else who is the best at Minecraft, but uh, you are wrong. It is me. Plenty of coal here. Just gonna grab these two and then. Call it a day. Oh. Alright, uh, I'm gonna eat another mutton and hopefully. Well, that. Am I in the healing zone? I am. Okay, good. I just wanted a little bit more health, and I hear the spoilers and the mobs outside. But I want 
no part of it. Want no part of your weirdness. So yeah, just yeah that. Not all the way down to diamond level, but there's plenty of resources that I see right under the ground here. So we've got plenty to play with. So I've got... Yeah, I hear you, spoilers. I hear you. Uh, I'm gonna just knock that off just so nothing can come and get us through there. Yeah, I hear you. Um, do I have... I do have sand, so I'm going to make some glass for a skylight. You may not think this is the most efficient use of my resources, and you're probably not wrong, but you know what? Sand is abundant. So I don't really care. Go ahead and do that. Pick up the storage too. Um, and then I'm going to use this iron. I'm going to make a chest plate. And yeah, and then I'm going to sit on the rest. Oh, there's got another eight. Boom. Um, so then I'll... Yeah, I'll just sit on the rest for the moment. And then this is skylight, just because I want to be able to... Oh, hello. Is it sunrise? Because if it's sunrise, then... Yeah, looks like it's daytime. Oh, hello, spider, so I'm going to... Mm, actually, you know, I'm just going to leave that spider there. Um, and I'm going to block this back up. And then, as it's daytime, I've exhausted my 20 minutes. So, I will go ahead, pull these out the furnace. And thank you guys for watching. And make sure that you watch whoever gets this next, because I'm not sure who's going to be the next player. But yeah, um, enjoy it. Oh, uh, my rule, I've forgotten. Uh, the rule that I will be adding for next time. And I'm going to plunk a sign down real quick. Is... No anvils. No using the anvils. They are not permitted. So thank you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.